Hi, welcome to UMBC's uh, Pizza Kitchen. Here in the month of April, we like to do a stop food waste day, and it should be an initiative the whole entire year. But today, I'm going to talk a little bit about the food waste products we have in the kitchen on a daily basis, how we can utilize them better, and how we can um, not not waste them, basically. Uh, if you look in front of me, I have things we use every day. We have broccoli stems, apple pieces, some spinach, some pie sauce stems, some strawberries that might be on the edge, some blueberries, and some carrots, uh, carrot peelings. Now, I couldn't serve this to a student, I couldn't serve this, you wouldn't serve this at your house. But today, myself and the dietitian Adam Sachs here are going to make a great smoothie concept for you, which you can have at any single time you want. I'm going to bring Adam in right now so he can kind of talk about why we don't want to throw this product away and why it's good for us, actually better for us than sometimes the product we eat. All right, thank you. Hi, my name is Adam Sachs, I'm the campus dietitian at UMBC. You just heard from Chef Kim about our sustainable smoothie project. Uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the products we're using and the kind of the nutrition quality of a lot of these. Um, so, you know, something first off, a lot of the products that we throw away end up having a lot of nutrients in it. Especially the stems, like the broccoli stems, cauliflower stems. You know, those are towards the center of the product. They're going to have a little bit more vitamins and minerals. They're going to have a little bit more fiber. Um, and a lot of times we just toss that. You know, obviously we can get some nutrients out of it. Especially because we're going to blend this together and, you know, make it obviously easier to easier to eat and consume, but you're going to be able to get all those nutrients. Um, and then with some of our products that might, you know, be on the verge of going bad if they were left in the fridge for another day or two, uh, you know, those we're going to freeze, obviously, after we blend them, so we're going to, you know, preserve all those nutrients and they're going to be perfectly fresh. Um, and when we blend everything together, you know, we're just going to freeze it in small packs, easy to store in your freezer. Uh, you can go open up a few packs, just throw them in your blender, quick, easy, pretty nutritional, uh, you know, complete for a meal replacement, for breakfast, whatever you want. And uh, we're going to get started. Uh, thank you so much, Adam. That was great. This is Chef Tim back. We're going to talk a little bit, to walk you through the process of how we get to our smoothie pods. So, most of these vegetables, most vegetables and fruits are about 80 to 90 percent water soluble. So, they're going to puree pretty easy for you to have a pretty strong blender. Some of them are not. Uh, your broccoli stems, your cauliflower stems, those are pretty solid. So, you want to get those cut down to the smallest pot we can get. You just take a knife, kind of cut them down. Tell me all you want. You can see well, if you, this white area here, very fibrous, very, very tough. So, and the devil would not be great in your smoothie. I'm just going to cut them in half, cut them down. And we're not going to cook them for that long. We're going to cook them enough to soften them. So we don't want to lose too much in the just value. So, the next thing you want to do, as I talked about, is uh, go ahead and cook your broccoli. Once your, once your water comes to a little bit of boil, you're going to throw a couple stalks there, make sure they're completely submerged. And then we're going to season the water also because we want our broccoli to be a little bit sweet, so just a little bit of cinnamon. A little bit of honey. You can use agave. You can use, you know, dates and raisins are great for this. Um, just a little bit of sweetness in order to overpower the sweetness. You still want the nutritional value of the broccoli. The reason I'm seasoning the water is because I want to use the water also to puree it. So that all the nutrients we lose in the cooking process will stay with us. All right? So as you see, I haven't cooked this very long. About two or three minutes you cook it, maybe five of their big stalks. It's still, still hard. It's not as hard as it was, it's bendable. It's gonna be much easier to puree. So we have our cooked broccoli. As I said earlier, we saved the water because this is where all our nutrients are. We don't want to have to throw it down the drain. We take a few pieces for cooked broccoli, throw it in our, in our, in our mixer, our blender. Put a bit of water in there. So, you could do this with your broccoli, your powdered flour, and you may need to add a little bit of water for your uh, carrot peels. Um, the fruit should blend by itself, add a little bit of water. It's always better to add the water a little bit of time so you don't make it too mushy or uh, too watery. Stir it up. So, have a regular old plastic bag, a sandwich bag, whatever you want at home. You're going to go pour about an ounce of vegetable into that. 
just fold it over, seal it, put that in the freezer, you got your pot for the next morning broccoli. All right? So we, we learned about broccoli, we learned about cauliflower. I said you can do the same thing for carrots, you can do the same thing for any kind of hard vegetable. Just cook it a little bit, make it easier to create so you don't have chunks in your smoothie. Strawberries, blueberries, apples, any kind of fruit. Put those in there. I'm still using a little bit of my broccoli water if there's nutrients. Don't need a lot. Put my top on. Just like the broccoli, we're going to go ahead and pour this in our bag for tomorrow. We want to put about two ounces of this in the bag. Um, we like our smoothies a little bit sweeter than we do vegetables. Fold it over, put it in your freezer, you're good to go. Grab it in the morning and have a great smoothie. All right, so as you can see, we have all of our frozen versions of our different fruits and vegetables up here. So, you know, this is just what we just prepped, put them in the freezer, they're good to go. So I have examples of the ones we did just now. So we have strawberry and we have the broccoli. So again, it's gonna be a two to one ratio of your fruit to your vegetable. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly two ounces and one ounces, kind of however big a portion you want. Um, you're just going to take your bag, open it up, empty both into the blender. And I'm going to take a little bit of yogurt. Um, that's going to add a little bit of protein. You could do a lot of different things. You could do some milk. You could do soy milk, almond milk, any of the substitutes. Um, you could do like a little bit of water and some protein powder if you wanted kind of like a post-workout smoothie. But this is just a little bit of uh, some whole vanilla yogurt. And you know, a few spoonfuls, maybe about a quarter cup or so, maybe a little bit more. Again, you can adjust this to your liking. And same thing as before, we're just going to blend it up. Alright, as you can see, this is our final project smoothie. It's got plenty of servings of fruits and veggies. Um, it stores easily in your freezer. You can make it anytime. It's great for a quick meal or a, or a you know, great snack. So, we're so excited about this project. It uh, took us about a month for now to get together. We worked hard on it. We figured it out. We used you know, great top of the line equipment. Sometimes you're at home doing this stuff. It may not come out quite as well the first time you try it. Keep on trying it over and over again. It's a great product. You can throw these in your freezer there all day. Just pull out of the stew every morning and have a great, easy breakfast. All right? Thank you.